If Cardinal-designate Wilton Gregory, America's first black cardinal, wears the burden of history well, perhaps it's because he spent more than half his 72 years as a Catholic bishop. My ministry as bishop is a ministry that invites, encourages, and then models uh, a, a spirit of collaboration and mutual affection and respect. As Archbishop of Washington recently chastising the use of a Catholic shrine for a presidential photo op in the midst of Black Lives Matter protests, decades earlier instituting a zero-tolerance policy for abusive priests as Bishop of Belleville, Illinois. Has the church done all it can on the issue of clergy sex abuse? No. What we've done is good, it's uh, effective, but it's an ongoing struggle to make sure that our kids are safe. Like the country, he will help shepherd a church that is often divided along racial lines. What would attract black Americans to a church that's dominated by white European descendants? We are a church of immigrants. We are a conglomerate of people who have arrived on these shores at different moments, usually for the same reasons, seeking a better life for themselves, for their kids. His way in was Catholic grade school in Chicago. He converted and became a priest. Gregory's ministry of inclusion extends to Pope Francis' recent support of civil unions for same-sex couples. Personally, I stand with, with the Holy Father. He does not go into the issue of sacramental marriage. He just simply uh, invites us to say, treat them with respect. And it's family that's given Gregory strength. What would your grandmother think? She'd probably say, do a good job, honey. The world's watching. Indeed it is. For today, Ann Thompson, NBC News.